this model 21st century round of applause help me welcome the vice president his excellency thank you very much our indefatigable mp for isikado ketan honorable joe gati it is really an honor and a privilege to be here today for this very important sword cutting ceremony STEM education goes beyond school subjects. It gives a skill set that governs the way we think and behave. Merging science, technology, and engineering and mathematics education would help students solve challenges the country faces today. And it is for this reason that we are building these model 21st century junior high schools across the country. The school that we are going to cut the sword for today will have 510 capacity, a two-story, 10-unit classroom block. It's very modern and has five laboratories, biology laboratory, physics laboratory, chemistry laboratory, computer laboratory, and also robotics and artificial science laboratory. It's the MP for Isikado Ketan to give us his welcome remarks. In recent years, a lot has also happened within this environment. We have started a university, a college for railway and infrastructure development, which is a place you passed through before you came here. Today, there are students in level 200 and they started certificate courses as well. So what is happening is that this area, we've got a hub for education. Now already, it is started to have an economic impact on the surrounding area. If you go to Kojokun, for example, the demand for housing is now on the rise. The same in Keten, the same in Iskado. So quite apart from the fact that it will bring education to this area, educational facilities as huge as this also bring economic development because people come and they engage in economic activities within the schools. And so we want to thank government for what it has done. We want to thank Omar Hindara Kona Ketia, whose insistence that he wanted a place like this played a big role in having it here. I want to thank the education minister as well. And I want to tell you that you are in a constituency which has three universities. We have the School for uh, Railway and Infrastructure Development, which is part of UMAT. We have a campus of Chakwari Technical University in BU. And we also have a campus of Ramukuma University of Science and Technology in Kazawad. We have five secondary schools. We cannot say that government has not been kind to us. If you go to secondary college, for example, there's a new development that is built by GMPC Foundation. If you go to at the Mass Secondary School, there's a new block which has been built recently because of the expansion of students due to the free senior school policy. The same in Methodist Secondary School, and I can go on and on, and even up to the GHS level. I'll use this occasion to thank you for what you've done for us over the past four years. But like Oliver Twist, we'll always continue asking for more.